Hello everyone, welcome back again to machine learning in Julia. So what is machine learning? So machine learning is just like it's a method in which humans have devised to be able to solve problems. Right? So let's say we have problems. Everybody has problems. You have a problem that you want to solve. So how do you how do you solve the problem? First of all, you have to gather information about the problem. So you have to define the problem, what the problem is. You have to describe the problem, how the problem came about and all those stuff. So this is how humans solve problems. You, you get data about the problem right and after getting the data about the problem we try to find tools and then algorithms which are the methods or approaches which we can use to be able to solve our problems to give us a solution so that is how human beings solve problems so in the same way machine learning is just about this thing like you have a problem you gather information about the problem you gather data about the problem and then you try to find the best method or the best approach or the best algorithm to be able to solve that problem so after solving the problem later on you may meet that same problem again right so so to be able to make our solution usable you have to find methods of making our tools or our approaches more efficient and more accurate so that anytime we meet that problem we are guaranteed that we're able to solve it well so that is the main idea about machine learning right okay so let's move on so there are several ways we can represent data so we can represent data in several ways so, so that it becomes easier for you to be able to solve it, right so one of the ways of representing our data is through tables you can also use linear models everybody understand tables everybody understand linear models whenever you plot a graph of your based on your data which is in a table right and then you divide it based on lines right simple and then also you can also get make in case the lines are so much in case the data is too much there are several ways you can also do you can use trees whatever you divide it you divide it into several several aspects several partitions that is when the concept of trees come about and then also after getting the trees sometimes too the data is too huge and you are supposed to define a rule right which is going to use the based on those rules you are going to classify it into groups or into classes we are going to as uh, group them according to their attributes you are going to associate them according to their attribute that is what is called association rule you predict an attribute not just based on the class but based on the attribute and several aspects so that is association rule and also there is instant based and then clustering so this is how data is represented and uh, in order to solve them so all of them is based on one another so we build on tables right linear models then when it's too much you build use another approach of trees and then so forth and so forth 